Who needs a beach body anymore? Summer's over. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome to a epic vegan summer mm. dessert recipe. Because summer's not over yet. No, it's not ending. How dare you even think about it? You okay? No, I, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Um, we made a really simple dessert recipe that's super delicious and just kind of like screams summer. It just, it's so good. I don't even know what to say. Um, we made kind of a play on strawberry shortcake. We made kind of strawberry shortcake waffles. Kind of? Kind of. No, we did. We did. We did. These delicious buttery waffles that are like the most delicious things I've ever eaten. And then like coconut whipped cream and then like strawberries and like strawberry and maple syrup and like oh. just so okay. good. It's so we know summer's coming to an end, but we hope this can cheer you up because, I mean, how can it not? Like, what? Like, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna show you how to make this because we're obsessed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna start off by making our waffles. There's a couple things that need to sit for a little bit of time, so we're gonna start off by making those. The first thing is flax eggs. So we wanna make two flax eggs by combining two tablespoons of ground flax seed with six tablespoons of water and setting that aside to thicken. The second thing is our vegan buttermilk. So we're gonna do that by combining one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk with about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and just setting that aside so that it can start to curdle. Now we're gonna mix all of our dry ingredients together to do that, we combine two cups of all-purpose flour, along with a quarter cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, a pinch of kosher salt, and just mix that all together. Then you wanna make a well into your dry ingredients and combine your wet ingredients with it. So you want to pour in your vegan buttermilk, along with a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of almond extract, and your two flax eggs, and then just whisk that together. We still want chunks in this dough, that's what makes a really, really good waffle dough. So you wanna mix it just until you don't see any more dry flour in your batter, and then stop. Next, we're going to finely dice uh, one stick of vegan butter, that's about eight tablespoons, chop it up into really small cubes, and then we're going to drop that all into our batter and just kind of toss it and with your whisk just kind of like mash it a little bit into the batter. We still want good chunks of butter into that batter because it's going to add a crust to this waffle while it melts in it and it's going to be so delicious. Now we're going to cook our waffles. So using a waffle iron, you're just going to scoop your waffles into that. You're going to want to cook them for about five to seven minutes each. Check them periodically, but let them sit for a good four minutes first because you don't want to open them before they're cooked or else they're going to fall apart. If butter starts spewing out, it's okay. That's what's supposed to happen. There's a lot of butter in this recipe, so it might come out. Make sure there's something underneath your waffle iron. Uh, while your waffles cook, you can start prepping everything else. So we just sliced up about a half a pint of strawberries into just thin slices so that we can layer them within. We're using a tub of So Delicious Cocoa Whip. And then we're also going to make a strawberry maple syrup drizzle. To do that, you wanna to blend together about five large strawberries and just blend that until it's nice and smooth and kind of like a syrup. And then you're gonna add that to about five tablespoons of maple syrup and mix it all together so you get this really delicious sweet strawberry syrup. Then we're gonna construct our waffles. So you want a layer of waffles with some whipped cream, strawberries, and drizzle with syrup on top, and you're ready to eat this delicious masterpiece. Guys, do you see how good that looks? Strawberries, cream, waffles. Drizzle. 
Drizzle. Drizzle. <laughs> okay, let's eat it. Yep. Spoiler alert, we've eaten this like four we've times. Had it before. <laughs> I mean, it's just as good every time. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. So good. Holy crap. This waffle, though. The indulg indulgence of the waffle. And then... The freshness of the strawberry. Yeah. And then that drizzle. Mm -hmm. And then, like, coconut. The, the lightness of the whipped cream. Mm. It's the perfect summer dessert. It really is. Like, summer's coming to an end, but we're not... Nope. <laughs> No, <laughs> but we're gonna end it on a really really good note i mean who needs a beach body anymore summer's over <laughs> so true time to go to hibernation mode <laughs> and bulk it up for the winter <laughs> it's bulking season eat up, eat up. <laughs> i feel like i'm a little drunk off of this might be the sugar the and the butter. The sugar and the butter. <laughs> Guys, I know we're all sad because summer's coming to an end. Back to school is coming up for some people. Some people's summer vacations are ending, so they have to go back to work. Lots of things are sad about this time. Let's bring something happy into our lives. Let's forget that school's about to start for some people and work's about to start up again. Let's just focus on the good things. Eat your life. feelings! Or that. <laughs> eat your feelings. But seriously, whether you love summer or not, you should eat this because it's delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't listen to our screaming. <laughs> eat this. It's delicious. You won't regret it. And that drizzle? The drizzle is like, it takes it so, like, to a next level. Like, it would be, it'd be so delicious without the drizzle, but the drizzle just adds something that just, like, completes it yes it's so good and if you want less butter in your waffles that's... you could probably cut the butter in half um it wouldn't be as like decadent and as like indulgent and desserty but it would still probably work okay because the butter isn't doing too much to actually hold it together or anything the butter is just adding this really really good crisp on the outside buttery dessert like taste but, like, you'd probably be able to get away with four tablespoons as opposed to eight tablespoons yeah. if you want a little bit less butter. Um, in the comments below, let us know what other kind of fruits you think would be really, really awesome with this dessert. Also, your favorite summer dessert mm -hmm. be that isn't, like, I mean, this is pretty, like, decadent and delicious, which isn't normally what I go for in the summer because no. you want it something lighter. But this literally is the perfect thing to end summer oh yeah so let us know what kind of desserts you go for for the summer so that we can start planning next summer's yeah. recipes and in the description below you'll find a link to the recipe you'll also find a link to our podcast and our newsletter so be sure to check those out hit that subscribe button yeah and come back next week because we're starting some back to school type lunch prep food recipe thingies we're doing a challenge next week I'm excited. So subscribe. Uh, new vegan recipes every Sunday, whatever Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. That's all we have time for today because we are in a sugar coma, coma right now. now. I think I need to lie down. Yeah, I think so too. Um, so we're going to go lie down, not together. <laughs> <laughs> Winter is coming! <laughs> Have some blueberries, blackberries. Do I have whipped cream in my glasses? No. Over here. No. Sweet.